Hi, I'm Rob Paulson, better known to you as Raphael, and right now, coming up, Donatello on the new TMNT, and we are behind the scenes with Chasing Turtles, and these guys have chased me, and they've managed to, to corner me in some nondescript parking lot in Burbank, California. So enjoy. It's pretty cool what these guys are doing. I think you'll have a great time. Okay, Isaac, let's get them. <laughs> oh. oh, no! No, please! Hey, this looks cool. This is Put a this really cool room. Where are we right now? We are in Playmates Toys. We're looking at some toys. Yeah, but for the podcast sake, we can't show. That's right, not until 2015. So, Playmates Toys was wow, right? Okay, you're a toy guy. I'm a toy guy. You're a toy collector and you play with toys. No. And you I don't play love with toys. toys. I put them on my shelf. You smell toys. That you're was, a toy guy and you were cool. right there in a toy company's headquarters. Headquarters. And the legendary. Carl Aronian is back at Playmates managing the new Turtles line. One of the bookends to the story. One of the bookends. One of very few people who have, were there at the beginning and who are there and now. And are there now. We shot a scene that we'll probably put in here. I actually reached out a frame and touched new toys that aren't out yet, didn't I? I'm looking at toys that aren't out yet. Look at that one. We can't show you that, but it's right there. See how that one can't be shown? And then there's some over here that we can't show. I'm gonna touch one that he can't show. And I will be selling my fingers on eBay for turtle fans if you want to buy these fingers. I nope, I don't I'm gonna keep them. Sorry fans. I just canceled my auctions. I'm keeping my fingers. Because I'm gonna need them. What if I get look itchy? Woo. I'm a big fan of comedy. And we just interviewed Ben Garant. My name is uh, Robert Ben Garant for Reno 911 and you are watching Chasing the Turtles behind the scene exciting action. This part's not exciting, but I'm assuming they'll edit it with stuff on either side of this. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but one might ask themselves, why did we interview Ben Garant? This isn't a documentary about no. comedy. Oh, careful. Ben Garant played Michelangelo for nine months. He was in, in a suit for nine months. Nine months straight. Keep then he right. gave birth to his, the rest of his life, his career the rest of his life. Uh, during the Coming Out of Their Shells tour, yep. they had to have a small team of two people going to each city pre the tour date to uh, promote the show. So they needed anybody who could go out and put on the costumes and do the advance work. So you would travel one city ahead of the tour uh, and do, do promotion. I said, this is great. I absolutely want to go on the road and do this. Um, it sounds like a blast. I was kind of sick of acting school. And, and Mike Black, the same thing. And so we just left. Um, we just took off. Did you say Michael Ian Black was the other guy? Right, Michael Ian Black. Michael Ian Black was the other guy, which we got in April. Those people were probably in suits, turtle suits, more than any other turtle performer, I'd guess. It's incredible. Huh? And what? I've never heard that story. I don't know. It's amazing. I think it's a pretty cool story. I think so, so we got the second half today. Hi, I'm here at the Cactus Top area. It's just north of Melrose on Vine. And when we come to Los Angeles, this is probably the best place we love to eat. Isn't it? See? That's normally what he's doing. And this is hot dog. Mexican hot dog. This is kind of it. This is wrapping up three years of shooting. We might have a few little things, but I don't think we're going to do much more down here because really, I think we got it, man. I think we got the interviews we need. Yeah. We got it. We got a burrito. We got some good interviews. No, it was a good day. And uh, Good trip. On this tour, David Weiss, Fred Wolf, Howard Coomer, Kramer, Howard Kramer, Kramer. Kulab, Ulysak, Ulysak, Eric Larson, Frank Fosco, Stan Sakai, Tom Waltz, Dan Duncan, Bobby Kernow, Kenny Byerly, Russ of America. Russ of America. <laughs> I, I have his last name and I was told, but it gets mixed Trust. up with Ross yeah. Campbell. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's he, what's happened. Right, yeah, he's a writer. Oh, uh, Ross, now I feel bad. We're going to cut in your right name here. Watch. Ross Carney. Simon Beeson, Bobby, Bobby Herbach, Tom Gray, Rob Paulson again, uh, Carl Aronian, Raymond Diamond, and Ben Grant today. Uh, it's a total of 19 interviews yeah. in what? 10 days. 10 days? A little bit more than 10 days, wasn't it? A little over 10 days. A little over 10 days. 
Why so sad? Because I have to leave the Cactus Cut career. I'm happy to go back home. I'm happy to see my wife and kids again. But I wish I could take this with me. Why can't we have one of these in our town? This is what we did this trip. We, we drove to Detroit, and then we flew to Las Vegas, and then we drove to LA, and then we went to San Diego. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. To Comic-Con. And that was a lot of fun, and now we're back in LA, and then we have to drive back to Las Vegas tomorrow, and mm -hmm. then fly to Detroit, and then drive back to I'm our listening, homes. I'm listening. And I look forward to that too, and I also look forward to going home. Because... I'm not even shooting you. No, I, I am. I'm, I, go ahead, keep going. You're just obsessed with Cactus Jack. Yeah. No, no, no. Captain Jack. The whole trip's been a blast, and I can't be sad that we're leaving because I'm just so lucky to have had It's only 98 out here, but uh, that sun is burning down here on Faux Pop Road. I just want to say a few words for my old friend Mark Hussey, who this is one of his favorite places to come in the whole world. When you look out over here, look out over here. I want everyone at home watching at home, and Hustler, if you're out there, I want you to think about this spot. It's a special spot for you. And it's a special place where we take a minute, we think about the hustler and what he does and what he's good for and all the different stuff that he has to share with the world and we like the hustler. What we do here is we share the nuts. We share the nuts of the earth. Let's do it for the hustler. The nuts of the earth for the hustler. For the hustler. Oh, Heard a rattler right over there. You want to find it? Yeah. Let's go out into the desert, Kurt, and find that rattler. This is the crazy part that no one will believe. It has rained here. Oh, there's a rattler. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I saw you grab that. No. Thing. Ah. Is this rattler skin? Rattle skin. I think that's rattle skin. How many rattlers do you think are in this? In these bones, these dinosaur bones? Mm -hmm. Probably five <laughs> to 15 rattlers in there, I would think, judging by the size of these bones. How big is a rattler then? Probably about 15 inches long. Some rattlers don't get as much food and they shrink in size. We keep making rattler jokes, but what if we see one? Well, these dinosaur bones are a sign. Like, what killed these bones? A rattler. You wanna play the rattle trick on Isaac? Yeah. Hey, watch. Look out, Isaac, there's a rattler. Ah! Isaac, you wanna take a picture of me with a nice watch mountain? Watch for the rattlers. With a mountain behind me? So thanks for coming out, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. we'll see you next time on the seventh, ninth, or eighth or ninth episode of Chasing Turtles, not the Turtles. What's going on with Curtis's face? <laughs> wow, that was scary. I didn't know if that was. What if it was not there? It was only there, and it was like an orb. What if I was there? Awesome. You look forward now, it's on the hood. <laughs> like, you know, that's right. Our fans have been writing in emails about these podcasts. Are you guys going to keep podcasting? Is this going to keep going on? Answer is, yeah. There goes the surprise. Well, that was a surprise. Yeah, but how long did you let that sit? The answer is, and I was building it, you went, yeah. We're going to try and get into Fan Expo. We don't even know if they'll take us. They haven't said that we'll get a, our Pass. press passes. If we get our press passes, we're at the Toronto Fan Expo. And we're also going to shoot a little package like we've been doing on the Toronto Fan Expo. Who's there? What's happening? What kind of hijinks can we get into in Toronto in our stomping grounds? Right? Well, and you'll notice how relaxed we are. Doing this. Alright, good.